Okay, people, welcome back to another Fush review. Tonight, I'm taking a look at the Bandai SH Figure Arts Black Widow and Tamashi Effect Explosion. Now, this is distributed by Bluefin. Bluefin was nice enough to send me a copy of this. A copy, like I'm watching it. Now, I have skipped on most of the Avengers stuff from SH Figure Arts. I just feel like... I don't know. I, I bought the Civil War stuff, and then I bought the Age of Ultron stuff, and then I bought the Guardians of the Galaxy stuff, and then the Infinity War stuff, and there's another movie coming next year. I I can't keep up. I, I just don't have that much money. But I was interested in Black Widow because she looks so good in pictures, and uh, Bluefin sent it along, so I appreciate that. Looking at the box, it's what we usually see from the Bluefin releases when they add something to the box. It's extended from the standard Bandai box, but it's really super deep. The figures right here, the SH Figure Art boxes for those are about this wide, about this long. We get all of this just to include the effects piece in there. But nice drawn, kind of artsy picture of Widow over here. You can see kind of the figure, I guess. Avengers, blah. On the end, very very sparse. It's kind of a granite look. Avengers logo, Black Widow, Avengers. On the back, promotional images for Black Widow since this is a US release or, you know, the rest of the world release. Uh, there's no unreadables here. I know. On the other end, the figure in a dramatic pose with the explosions at the bottom. <laughs> On the bottom, a promotional shot of Widow and then just a lot of blank space. But I'm gonna get this out of the box and uh, see what's going on here. I've never messed with an explosion before. I, I'm interested. Okay, when opening the package, be careful because there's lots of little bits and bobs in here. I, I One fell down behind the explosion effects. I thought I lost something. Getting her out of the package? <laughs> I really, really like this figure. Looking at the sculpt on her torso, the vest over what seems to be uh, for the most part, her Black Widow costume. The detailing is great on the details of the vest. You have some silver here for some buckles. It looks like nylon strap with that extra kind of texture right there that carries all the way around to the back. And you also have this backpack piece that has like some wear and tear on it. It looks like it's been through some shit. The legs have some seam lines and straps that are very Black Widow-ish. Uh, some holsters. I don't know if this is for guns or... Uh, sticks or something, but there's nothing that goes into those. For the most part, everything's mostly cast in black. There may be a difference in sheens here. The knee pad looks a little bit metallic compared to the cloth of her costume. And then the soles of the boots have kind of a greenish color to them. Her bracelets are really well done. Again, it's that metallic color from the metal parts of the knee pad. Then we get to the head, and uh, the lightness here is good. It looks like Scarlett Johansson. And while we still see kind of a sprinkled look to it, kind of a printed look. The face printing here, I feel like they are improving as they go bit by bit. In person, it's virtually impossible to tell that it's actually printed, unless you have better eyes than me, and I'm getting old, so who knows. But they're still doing that golden sheen to the hair. For Infinity War, she went with a blonde look, and this... I don't know. It's okay. I like it if it was like full-on sun and there's light shining off her hair, but as is, it looks like you know, she has gold hair. This is the part where I usually find something to gripe about, but I'm not finding a lot here. It's not that it's a perfect figure. It's just too par with what we see from the SH Figure Arts line. She could have more crunch. There's not a lot there, and it gaps open in the back. What bend she has forward is at the hip. Here, she just kind of rotates into her vest. But the knees are really well done. They don't break up whenever you bend it most of the way back. Same with the elbows come up really far. I, <laughs> Like I said, it's not a perfect figure. There's faults, but it's what we've gotten used to in action figures. Plastic not being able to emulate what skin and bone and muscle can do. Going over the articulation, there's a ball at the top of the head. It's a dumbbell joint. It goes down into the neck, and then there's also another joint at the bottom of the neck. So she can look forward and bury her chest. I got her head stuck up, not so much. That's because of her hair. It just jams on the back of the collar. Good tilt, good tilt, swivel. There's a ball joint going into the torso with a cover cap to hide that articulation. So it goes forward, it goes back, little up, little down. It comes out to a ball where the arm can rotate on it. Single elbow, that's nicely hidden because it matches the sheen of the rest of the arm. Gets up most of the way. Swivel hinge, swivel at the wrist. You can swivel it, hinge it, and then if you take it and rotate it around, you can get side... Wait, does it does it do it? Where's it at? You can get side to side out of it. There's a ball in the mid torso. You get really good back. I guess you're supposed to arch her back. I don't know. The back works better than the front. Then you get some tilt, some tilt, rotation. Same thing at the waist, and the belt floats. You can get it 
up and over if you want. It can go down lower, but you bring it forward, bring it back, bring it side, bring it side. All that working together, you get good Oh, ah! You can get some good range of movement. No drop down hip this time around, but you can still get all the way forward, a little bit back, all the way out. There's rotation on that ball. Double knee comes, she can almost kick her own ass. Not a lot of ankle back, but pretty good ankle forward. There's a forward facing pin for some tilt, and it's angled down because it's a high heel. We're used to this, it, but it still works pretty good. And then there's a toe joint. For accessories, Black Widow has two fists. She has two relaxed hands. She has two grip hands. And she has two splayed out hands. To switch them out, they just pop off. And it's no big deal to pop the other one on. For accessories, she has two battle sticks. I don't know exactly what they are, but there's a nice texture to it. And for that, the handle comes off. It comes with a little peg on there and you put it in her hand like so because her grip hands are closed off then you put the top back on and she has her stick and then she has her staff which is both sticks stuck together i'm not quite sure why they made the sticks with the removable handle but they didn't make the two sticks well i guess it would have a peg sticking out there if they made these two attached together wouldn't it and this is oh <laughs> and this is a little bit more stable with this one being one plastic piece because well i say one plastic piece the handles are one plastic piece the ends also come off so you can put these in both hands or one hand or however you want her holding the staff. Same concept, it just slides into the hand. You put the other here. Not bad at all. And then she comes with two fake handles with balls on the end and you can take those and stick them in her backpack piece right here. Now it's kind of a tight fit. The first time I tried it, I tried to pop the ball in, it would not go. I lost it, there it is. But once you get it opened up a little bit, once you get it in there that first time, ah, uh, no, not yet, don't look. The socket seems to open up a little bit easier to get in there. And with them being on a ball, you can put those anywhere you want, up, down, however you want to look. And it, it's not bad. And then she comes with two alternate faces. Out of the package, she has kind of just the, you know, listening to Steve look, planning, uh, not really a lot of emotion there. Then she has the slightly more angry look. Her eyebrows are furrowed. Yeah, it's subtle, but it still looks good. And then she has her looking to the left look. I think I ragged on this during the weekly that, you know, oh, they made it so different. It adds a little bit of character to it. You know, it's a little bit sultry, but thinking, uh, planning, I'm, she's about to kick somebody's ass. I'm, I'm okay with this. Here's the Marvel Legends real quick. I wish they had included a kind of smirky face though too. Just just to throw something different out there. And to switch that out, the hair piece comes in half. And as you can tell, except for right there, it's pretty much seamless. It, they followed the flow of the hair. Well, you can see it there, but not right there. It hides, no, there, no, yeah. But that pops off. You're left with the face piece and the ears. For some reason, they put ears on her, but when you pop the hair on, uh, they're pretty much hidden. So, uh, yeah, a cool little hidden detail, I guess. For comparison, here she is with, uh, which Black Widow is this? The other SH Figure Arts Black Widow. How's that? I don't mind the metallic so much on the red because they took this and there's kind of a two-tone to it. I wish they had done this to break up the gold a little bit. Here she is with the SH Figure Arts Star-Lord, just to give you a size comparison with another figure in the same line that's not Black Widow. And then here she is with the Marvel Legends Infinity War Black Widow. I'll admit the Marvel Legends is a hell of a figure with the face printing tech and the extra detail on the costume, but the Marvel Legends may be a little bit large to slip into your Figure Arts display. And like I pointed out, you get a lot of mean looks with the SH Figure Arts, you get kind of a smirky, happy look with the Marvel Legends. And then that needs a shot of Dolco, because that is shiny. And then, as always, here she is with Gus. Ma'am, may I have the pleasure of escorting you to the party? I don't see how that's a party. Well, there's no reason to get all mean about it, little sister. And then finally, there's the explosion pieces. These are pretty cool. Uh, you can see a lot of detail, a lot of sculpt to them, and the points sticking out. And the material's a little bit translucent with some gray and some brown uh, smoke color in there. Oh, well, I guess the inside's painted the dark brown, and that kind of fades away as the plastic gets thicker or it gets further away right here. But it comes with three pieces. It, it, they're all different, different forms of explode. Well, same explosions, just different shapes, you know? And I thought they fit together somehow, uh, but I can't... 
If there is, I can't figure it out. I, I think they're just three separate bursts. And according to the instructions, explosion effect parts can be displayed behind the figure, etc. So probably not. But these make me want to try uh, some different ones out. So at the end of the day, a pretty kick-ass figure of a kick-ass character from some kick-ass movies. It's got a lot of tiny parts that as I'm switching out, like the sticks in her hand, the top kind of pops off, it's an itty bitty peg. Same for the staff. I've had a little problem with the hands popping off, but that's only because I've been messing with trying to get the sticks in and out so much. I dig the face swapping feature. I like how the hair doesn't look like it comes off. And I just like the look of Black Widow from this movie. The green offsets the black, just like the blue did in the previous movie. And then I think she had some red on her somewhere. Now this is the Bluefin release, you do get the extras. I, if you pre-order it right now, I don't think it's quite released yet, it'll be $83. And I know the $83 seems a little bit high. Overseas, if you order her, which looking, she sold out at a lot of places, it was about 55, 60 bucks. And then after shipping, it's gonna get you up to 70 with the explosions. I think this is a good deal. Yeah, you had to wait a little bit longer than the actual Japanese release, but worth it. Like I said, I've never messed with the effects much before, I, I think I need some more of these. I think I need some background. I think I need some other things to spruce up my pictures a little bit. And this works for that perfectly. Yes, this definitely takes the place of that other SH figure where it's Black Widow that I can't remember which, was it Age of Ultron? Was it Civil War? Which one was it? Anyway, if you like the review, comment, like, subscribe. I'll catch you on the foosh.